Good evening, my fellow entrepreneurs. Dana again. And uh, I'll continue on with uh, the 10 powers that will help you build your business and make yourself more valuable. And I want to add a little more to preparation. Uh, sometimes I get here and I really haven't prepared for what goes on the minute I flip that switch to uh, put myself into the public view. And, uh, and I just got off of a webinar that didn't happen because of technical difficulties. And that's part of the part of prepar preparation and uh, uh, going into a second contingency plan. I want to uh, put that into under preparation. Uh, be well prepared uh, and you need to look into as you build your business you're going to start to create wealth and you need to be prepared as to what you're going to do with that wealth and uh, the decisions you make in the prepar preparations are going to last forever so Prepare yourself for wealth. Look for the fortune. Look for the promise. But be prepared and ask yourself what I can do or what I need to do to be prepared and be ready. Uh, as Jim states, uh, life was not designed to give us what we want or need, but what we deserve. Every value in life must be paid for. And those that pay are the ones that will get. Those that give will receive. Be a better giver. Be a, be a searcher for ideas. And be prepared for the fortune and the changes and be prepared for opportunity because when the opportunity arises and you're not ready for it you're going to lose it because there was uh, a gentleman a mentor in um, my business opportunity who was not who was not ready when the the phone system went into deregulation and had he been he probably would have been a millionaire but he let it pass him by and this opportunity that I'm in now came along and he was ready for this opportunity and he took it and he was a multi-millionaire now you weren't sometimes you just let things go by and now you kick yourself because you didn't take advantage of it or you weren't ready for the opportunity so uh, the, the next power is self-reliant look mostly for yourself okay Rely on yourself and count on yourself so you can say that you can never complain or have to explain. When you're building your business, it is all you. Okay? You can take the advantage advice of all the mentors that have come along, but in the end, it's you. You've had to take massive action to get where you are. And if you don't take mass massive action, it's not going to happen. So that's number six. 
Number seven is your image. What others see in you. Very important. Your branding. If you're in control, if you have an image of control, and your influences. When people see that you're in control of your life, your future, and your destiny, they're going to want to find out more about you. Whether they follow you, that's hard to say. But at least they can respect you for being who you are. This also helps in trust. If they trust you, most likely they're going to listen to what you said. Or they're going to become, in our case, customers or consultants, distributors. Now the image of yourself, the inside of you, the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you think, be the best that you can be is yourself. So your inner side, inside, is going to show on the outside. I look into number eight, which is character. Being of high value. Being of principle, honesty, those all earn respect, integrity, character, doing what is right, doing what, doing the right thing, being fair. Again, doing the right thing. Being a person of high value. And the last one, self-discipline. Doing the best you can and knowing your part. are in a group as a leader. If something's out of place, you will help put it, put what needed back in it. And making sure that you do what needs to be done, whether it's right back into character. So between character and self-discipline, you're going to do the right thing. And that comes back into your image as well. And the final of the ten is extraordinary performance. Demanding of yourself, doing extraordinary results. If you want to live an extraordinary life, you must do the extraordinary. If you want an extraordinary income, you must do extraordinary things to get that.
that you up again. So, if you want the extraordinary fortune, you must go with the demands of what it takes to have that fortune. You must demand it of yourself or it won't happen. Society won't do it for you. But if you want the benefit, you must demand of it from yourself. I'll leave you with that. And I thank you for viewing. And I look forward to again tomorrow. Have a great evening and God bless.